This is the weekend when Mercedes can wrap up the Constructors World Championship with their all-conquering W11. And with that in mind, I'm delighted to say that James Allison joins us live from Brackley uh, at the Mercedes base back in the UK. James, first of all, thank you so much for joining us for this special edition of F1 TV Tech Talk. If I can, I want to go back, take you right back to the gestation the genesis of this car and ask a, a general question, I suppose, is it easier to be that target team or is it easier to be one of the teams trying to catch you up? I think it's pretty hard to do both. I think Formula One is famously hard at every single level. Uh, it throws so many challenges at the teams uh, that you go up and down the grid, you'll find the one constant between every team on the grid is, is just how enormous the amount of effort they'll all be putting into uh, to either, in our case, hoping to try and hang on to our position of competitiveness and in everyone else's case to, to be trying to punch their way upwards. Um, certainly it is the case that uh, after a number of years of success, what has typically broken a sort of golden run has been not the competitors coming up, but the team itself losing its edge, uh, stopping realizing the sort of things that made them good in the past, uh, and, and maybe just falling victim to being a little bit complacent. And that is something that we've been incredibly conscious of here, the risk of that, and have, have tried to bend over backwards uh, to, to counter that risk, and indeed to seek uh, excitement from the beginning of each season and to try and pump ourselves up um, to, to attack it with renewed vigour every year. You stated uh, and mentioned, of course, uh, you know, what you need above all in an uncertain calendar is the fastest car. You've had that from day one. Your performance advantage increased over all of your rivals. How much of that is down to some of your rivals, such as Ferrari, falling back? and how much of it is down to the car itself? What are the areas actually in which you've stepped forward that you're most proud of in 2020? Um, I would probably make particular note of the, of the huge, and I mean massive push made by HPP uh, for the PU that we've had this year. Um, they had a pretty rough time of it Watching, uh, watching races uh, in the season previous and being told that the Mercedes was no longer the, the pick of the litter. Um, and, and I think that has really spurred them on to, to finding performance from the PU uh, in every nook and cranny, uh, despite the fact that these regulations have now been broadly stable since 2014 um, and the fuel flow fixed in all that time and uh, and I think so a really decent step from them uh, and we had a good we had a good time in the wind tunnel we found uh, we found a, a, a decent amount of performance uh, week by week month by month um, with uh, a regulation that hadn't changed a lot from the previous year um, and 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 seemingly delivered that performance to the track without any any upsets from a correlation point of view. I, th I said when we launched the car that we were, uh, we faced a choice with the where to go with the 2020 car. We had a good 2019, we had a good season, we did well. Um, and the regs weren't very different, so why not just sort of keep trogging along in the same fashion for 2020? But we chose not to do that, we chose to take take some different directions with the car, uh, specifically on the front brake drums, on the bodywork around the air intakes, and on the rear suspension, all of which were quite significant departures from previous, and, uh, and all of which bought us the, the sort of fertile ground on which to build the subsequent development of the car, which has been strong. Now, because uh, DAS is a part of of the steering system of the car, it's a safety critical element 
of the car. How difficult did that make it to implement? Making sure that it uh, was completely rock solid reliable uh, was a key thing. Making sure that uh, it was uh, done in a way that didn't, didn't interfere with, uh, you know, just added to the driver's experience of being in the car, but, you know, he didn't sort of go, well, I quite like the DAS idea, but actually it makes this and that harder. You know, it needed to be, it needed just to add to the driver's uh, box of tricks, not, not to be a compromise. And the only real compromise that came with it was its weight. And uh, we, had to, we had to buy the right to have that weight in the car by, by being aggressive on our weight targets with other things in the car so that we could afford to put uh, the, 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 the additional weight of DAS up at the front there and not have the weight and balance of the car uh, go out of, out of whack on us. Um, so I think probably uh, making sure it's reliable, making sure that it had no downsides uh, and, uh, and making sure that we had bought the right to have it on the car with, with mass. Now, we look at 2022 and the new regulations, and I'm sure that all of your rivals all the way down this pit lane will be looking at it as uh, a chance to get one up on you. It's a blank sheet of paper. It's their best chance to really become the target team and have you chasing them rather than the other way around. But I, I suppose at the same time for you, for your team, for your designers, it's that same challenge, that same opportunity, that same blank sheet of paper to do something really incredible. Well, it keeps us all in a job, you know. Um, they left it the same. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. Um, it's, a, it's a big deal because uh, so much of the regulation is completely different to what we have today. Um, but that's an exciting thing for all us uh, engineering folk because we get to test ourselves against a completely new set of assumptions and to find out whether whether we've just been lucky over the last few years or whether actually our physical understanding of what what makes things go fast is, is good enough to be addressed to this new set of of circumstances and to find out afresh whether or not we can we can still do okay um, when everybody's got that same challenge uh, and with a budget cap, pretty much the same opportunity as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a thrilling prospect. And, and like it's been pretty much each year that this team has faced uh, a, a sizable regulation change, but multiplied by three or four times because the change is that much bigger. Um, and I hope, that, um, I hope that we'll prove worthy to the task.